Black Ops 2 gameplay. Um, hey guys, what's up? It's Famous bringing you another Black Ops 2 commentary. Um, this is a multi-team gameplay. We started playing the other day, tried it out for a little bit, went pretty well. Um, it is really fast paced, which is that, that if I could learn how to talk during my commentary, it would be perfect. Um, it is a really fast gameplay. Um, wow, I say um a lot, don't I? Uh, <laughs> During uh, this, I think we were playing Hardpoint, and Hardpoint or, or any objective-based gameplay during multi-team is extremely aggressive. Uh, you have, I mean, you have three teams going at it instead of two, so I mean, you have tons of people everywhere. It does promote my style of gameplay, which is extremely fast gameplay, which is what I like. Uh, I like running SMGs, and in this gameplay, dual will be 23 hours. I had a lot of fun out of it, and not so much wanted to talk to you about the gameplay. Wanted to talk to you guys simply about my personal thoughts and opinions on Black Ops 2 so far after the um, couple months that it's been out. Uh, so, kind of start off with my opinion of the new score streak setups and my opinion of the 10 point class setups. I love the 10 point class setups. Uh, I love how you can really modify your setups to your playstyle. Um, you can really you know, you kind of really adjust based off of how you play. You don't really have to go with the required classes, and I really enjoy that because half the time, I don't use any type of tactical grenade. I don't use, other than a Bouncing Betty, to, and what I use Bouncing Bettys for, a lot of you guys hate them, and I know you do because I hate them, but it is to block off spots. So if I'm going one way and I want to go the other, I almost use it as a motion detector because if it doesn't kill them, it actually shows them up. Um, completely off topic, I know, but just kind of <laughs> want to let you guys know, you'll probably see me throw tons of bouncing Bettys in all my gameplays, and I'll use that just to block off a spot to kind of hold my own back when I know my teammates can't. Uh, it's odd that an inanimate object can hold my back better than a person playing, but beside the point. So, um, score streak system. I really like the score streak system. Um, you know, it's something that's new. It's not new. What is new? Uh, it is new in the Call of Duty series. It is. It promotes aggressive gameplay, I think, in my opinion. It promotes gameplay that allows you to maybe not be the best player in the world, but still get your kill streaks by... And I wouldn't say you're a bad player, uh, but you can rush. So if you're a person that likes to cap objectives, you like to win, you're going to get more score streaks or quote-unquote score streaks, kill streaks, than you normally would in any of the other Call of Duties. Um, you know, if you grab one or two kills and you're one of those guys that have a really low KD and you get one or two kills and you go grab an objective, guess what? You got maybe, you know, a lightning strike already or you have one of your primary score streaks, UAV, which helps out a lot. Um, and of course, even your score streaks give you a decent amount of points. UAV is a great class to run. Uh, regardless of your skill level, especially in an objective-based gameplay, because you can always find out where someone is. So, I run the UAV a lot. I'll run UAV, Warthog, and Swarm, or Orbital VSAT, UAV, and, or UAV, uh, Orbital VSAT, Warthog, and Swarm, something along those lines. And um, I really like it. I like the Swarm. I like that there's no game-ending killstreak anymore. Yeah, Moabs were cool. Nuke was cool. Cuts the game really short, promotes camping. I mean, you guys all remember the nuke, everyone camping in a building, or ceiling glitching and just setting outside the map, and that was boring. Made me not like that game. Uh, <laughs> I uh, completely forgot what I was talking to you guys about. Oh, yeah. Uh, Black Ops 2, my thoughts. Probably what you want to hear, or may not want to hear. I don't care either way. That's what I'm going to talk about. Um, classes. So... We have our standard ARs, as usual, with the SMGs, LMGs, which no one seems to use, some really effective pistol classes, and then, of course, ballistic knife, riot shield, and uh, crossbow, and then the rocket launchers. Out of all of that, the rocket launchers probably annoy me more than anything, because a lot of people use them to get a gold rocket launcher, which, that's cool, that's fine, if that's what you want. Um, it, they're just annoying as hell, and they bother me. Other than that, I don't think any one particular gun, and they did a really good job of balancing them out. I um, think they maybe, in my opinion, took some tips from Battlefield and balanced the guns to their playstyle. So, you know, SMGs actually work at a 
reasonable range. They work at the range they're supposed to, which is up close. Um, you have to be pretty skilled to get long shots with them. Assault rifles work at a long distance. Yeah, you can get lucky sometimes and get some hit fire kills with them, but SMG versus, you know, tar or something up close, you're going to lose almost every time. Um, shotguns, unless you have the KSG, and even so, the KSG is not great at long range. Uh, it's, it's much better than all the other shotguns, uh, but it still follows suit. It is a slug. It is hard to shoot. You have to be extremely accurate with it. All the other shotguns, S12, okay, requires three or four shots on target. Um, 870 is beast in the appropriate situation, in the appropriate map. Um, if you play the 870 right, you play close to the walls, you try not to get long lines of sight on you, you can run it pretty well. Um, pistols are all pretty balanced. The Cap 40 seems to be okay. The B23R is hands down my favorite. It's a must-have pistol, uh, unless you run the Cap 40, which I still don't think it's as good as the B23R. And um, crossbows are fun. I don't mind them. Um, I finished mine really quick. It was pretty easy to get the uh, the gold on that. I probably will never use it again. And um, I think that's about it. I like the new I like the new score uh, not score streaks uh, the new uh, perks. Uh, well, some of them are new, some of them aren't. I like dexterity and toughness. I think that was a great addition to the game. I like how they split up ghost. I uh, really like how it's like it used to be three perks in one. Now it's ghost, blind eye. Um, Hardwired is one of them. It seems like it used to be like four perks in one. I think they split it up very well to suit um, not that full camper style gameplay, which is nice. This game is really based off of rushing. Um, I really enjoy rushing. I'm really that style of player. So that's, you know, I've, I've really been happy with Black Ops 2 so far. Um, no major complaints whatsoever out of it other than just like every year with every Call of Duty title, Tons of people get it for Christmas, they camp in the corner in order to think that's going to rank up. And which, it hasn't been too bad because the players that have joined Black Ops 2 for some reason this year versus any other Call of Duty title, it seemed to be a little more, I guess, unskilled than ever before. Um, I haven't really noticed other than a few clans, um, like the clan I just recently joined, which I haven't joined a clan in such a long time, is uh, Carnage. These guys wreck. Um... They promote 100 plus gameplays. There's a few clans out there that promote those type of gameplays, which are awesome. I'm not a big fan of Ground War. Um, I do, and I've told you guys in the past, I'm almost finished with my 100 plus gameplay edits. I have two of them. Uh, one's like a 115 and one's like a 101, 102. Um, they're not 150 by any stretch of the imagination, but they're okay. Shut up, phone. Um, they're really good. I, I like them, and I um, should have those edits done. Also, what's coming up? I'll, that was my quick 30 second opinion of Black Ops 2 by the way um, I have my tips and tricks videos for all of the objective based gameplays uh, almost finished and I have a few more things I'm going to show you guys uh, each class setup for almost every gun and how to use them properly and I hope you guys enjoy that leave me a like, favorite, comment, whatever you want to do at the bottom um, tell me what you want to see next and I will do my best to pull it off uh, otherwise guys thanks for watching I had a great time giving you this commentary I hope you enjoy the rest of the 20 seconds left of the game. Peace out. It's famous.